In this video, we're having a look at this synchrometer. Um, the purpose of this is to test the air pressure going into the carburetors. Um, specifically for my setup, I've got um, twin carbs, so I want to make sure the airflow is the same to um, synchronize both of them carburetors. Alright, so it comes with some detailed instructions if you're fluent in German. Um, oh, there's also an English version too. Uh, there's a, a few different models here. So the BK has a wider opening on it. Um, the SK, that's the one I've got. It's got a, a narrow opening. Hopefully that'll sort of fit. Obviously, it's not going to just sit into the um, intake on its own. I may need to hold it, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, there's a few um, instructions, diagrams to help you depending on what type of carburetor. Uh, a, a lot of people with motorcycles use these as well um, to make sure their twin carbs are synced up nicely. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else specific in here you need to know about, but um, the brand I think is just STE. I do believe that's the brand. Uh, Alright, so let's... um test the car. Um, the first thing I need to do is obviously take it for a run to warm up the engine. Alright, so I've just taken it for a, a quick run to warm it up. Um, next thing I need to do is just remove the air filters. So what I want to do first is um, Hold this on the intake like that, uh, run the engine and just see what reading we're getting at the moment at idle. So I'll start it up. So that initial test, um, on the uh, left hand side, I'm getting uh, around about 10 kilograms an hour, so 10 on there. On the left hand, sorry, right hand side, I'm only getting around 2. So the idle speed screw on this um, right hand side needs to be increased a bit. But in order to do that, I need to loosen the nut on the linkage uh, before I adjust that. I'll just take you in a bit closer so you know uh, what exactly you are meant to do. Now, this is a bit tricky, I can't see the screen, but you want to loosen the, this nut here. Um, and then so when you do press the accelerator, um, it prevents this from moving. So the, the bar will run freely inside there. So then what I can actually do is tighten the idle adjustment screw on here until I get the same air pressure on both. So I need to loosen that first. All right, that was a bit of a pain to loosen um, the, the nut underneath there. Um, it, 11 32 of an inch is the one I needed. So now, when I push down the accelerator, it moves a bit, but it's loose enough, so I'll be able to turn the idle screw independently um, of that mechanism now. So it does move um, independently. So if I just pull up on that and just make sure that is sitting in the idle position. So now I can turn down that idle screw and it will move that independently. All right, so let's start it up and then play with the idle adjustment. All right, I'll just try and get you a bit closer so you can see what I'm actually doing here. So I've um, if the previous video worked, I loosened this up and then adjusted the um, idle screw on this uh, right hand side 
carburetor and now what I need to do is just tighten up the nuts so they both are locked and move together. So I'll just try and struggle and do that. Okay right so there both the linkage is tightened up again so they're moving together now. So I'll just start it up, see what the idle speed is and then do some adjustments. So I'll leave it there, I'm going to put the filters back on, but you don't need to watch me do that. So this actually works quite well. Um, the only issue is it's difficult to see uh, over there, but I can sort of just see where the needle is lining up against those numbers and uh, sort of just see, because of the angle, but if it was sort of like that, um, you can get different attachments for it, So, but I, I don't think it's worth the effort of getting those. Alright, so I'll leave it there. So, hope you've um, enjoyed watching this review and um, how to use one of these devices to measure the airflow. Right, I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching my videos.